Welcome to Divine Light Meditation, channeled by Ophelia and Sakal with the Family of Light. The Arcturians step forth now, and they are going to take us on a very special journey. And this journey is all about the infinity connection of the heart chakra and the higher heart chakra, the thymus. The Arcturians explain that as light workers and energy workers and teachers and healers and anyone interested in their personal development and anyone interested in their expansion of their energy fields, becoming more of who they are here on earth, embodying a higher part of their God presence, increasing their love and light quotient. He says for anyone in that category that has an interest in spiritual growth, in energetic development, the connection of the heart and the high heart is a natural development. As children, the thymus is well and wide open. Often this closes down again due to life and society and, and living in certain ways in certain belief systems. And then later on in life, as more clearing is done and as more expansion takes place again, the thymus can open up again. With the new children, often the thymus can stay open because they are often guided by parents who have undergone this process themselves. Today's journey, the Arcturians say, is all about forming an energetic connection between the heart and the thymus, the higher heart. That is not simply the connect connection as it is in the energy field at the moment, as it is in your pillar at the moment, but much more of an upgraded version of that, a higher dimensional version, so to speak, a higher density version. And it's all about the weaving of the energies of these two chakras together. The higher heart representing our connection to group, our connection to soul family, our connection to the wider realms around us. And so the more the heart as a creation center work together with the higher heart, the more powerful you become in your manifestations and the more powerful you become as a spirit in this vessel here on earth, the more powerful you will become in activating your mission here on earth or achieving whatever you set out to achieve. And so today the Arcturians would love to take you all on a journey to different realms, to undergo different experiences, and to transform your energy bodies to this next level. You are in the right place at the right time. And as you may or may not have heard of, may or may not be aware of, time does not exist in its technicality. It does on Earth. And that is so the Earth game can be played in a significant way, in a way that makes sense to the mind and the lower energy bodies as well, and the personality. But technically there is no time. There is merely spirit and God presence and energy viewing different parts of all that is, different parts of itself, to gain experience, to grow, raise in frequency, and get closer to God Goddess again. And so, as we are here in the God Presence Communion Temple, the Arcturians invite us all to travel with them, first of all, to their home world of Arcturus. On this travel, as we go now. You may understand it will also always take a certain amount of time as it feels here on earth, often perhaps 20 to 30 seconds. And there is a difference, they explain again, between literally going there with your energy or with part of your energy or having a look with your inner senses. If you're simply having a look, then 
it's almost like only part of your energy needs to go and have a look and perhaps there is no time at all needed for you to have a look somewhere. However, if you travel somewhere, and often that happens uh, within Merkabahs and different ways of teleportation and transportation that you know, reside within the multidimensional worlds, um, that often takes a little bit of time. So, as we arrive now on our tours, just gently feel how part of your field is here now in our tours. And you're still in your here and now on Earth, but you're also with a part of your field now on our tours. And this is the part of you that is actually on this multidimensional journey. Just take a few moments now to ground your energy here in Arcturus. Perhaps you've been here before. Perhaps you've never been here before. The Arcturians hold an energy of healing. They hold an energy of master builders, master builders of Merkabahs and energy body transformations and transplantations of different parts of the energy body, renewing and refreshing different parts of all layers of the energy bodies. They can assist with temporary fixes as you transition from one uh, part of your energy bodies to the next. As you upgrade your energy bodies, they often assist and help. And so today it's all about building and creating that infinity connection between the heart and dharma chakras. It's a much stronger connection than what you're currently used to in the normal connection between the heart and dimes. It's a little bit like they explain a normal uh, bridge with two lanes is the normal connection. You're going to be upgrading that to one with, for instance, 16 lanes. That is made of the newest um, high-tech material that is light, that is fast, that transfers energy fast that can translate energies from the non-material into the material and help you on your mission here on Earth. So, as this infinity connection is made, the next step is made where your heart and your higher heart can become one. This is an intermediary step to that. And it will serve you greatly in your life, they explain, for whatever you feel in your heart as a desire, as a creation desire, as an experiential desire that you hold, will be manifested faster and will be manifested with the right people around you as well. For that is where the higher heart comes in, in drawing in like a beacon, drawing in the right people for the right parts of your mission to anchor and activate here on Earth. Ground your pillar now through the core of Arcturus, all the way through the core of Earth to Mother Gaia, and take it all the way up to Source. So the difference with your pillar as it was in your connection to Earth is now that Arcturus and the core of Arcturus is within this pillar as well. Breathe up and down your pillar a few times. And feel yourself settling in here on our tours. And feel the different frequency here on our tours. How is it different? Feel that inside yourself. Does it feel home? Or does it feel far away from what you're used to? And very gently now, the Arcturians invite us to follow them on a journey. And we have landed, so to speak, here on Arcturus, and we're following the Arcturian emissaries now. And they're guiding us to our first stop, the first experience of this journey. And we enter what looks to be 
a very large hull, very high, and it looks quite high-tech, yet feels very homely. Just have a look around now as we gently walk to the center of this huge hall. And at the center of this hall, a crystal sits on a stand and around it many chairs in a circle. And have a seat in one of these chairs. And see if you can get a sense of this crystal at the core of the circle. It's a beautiful green color. It has a beautiful, gentle, yet powerful light emanating from its core. And you can feel hints of gold, golden energy emanating from this beautiful crystal. Connect your heart and your thymus now simultaneously to the core of this crystal. And this crystal will start in the very first steps of creating this infinity connection. Arcturians are inviting you to sink about two layers deeper into your receptivity. And what that means is simply surrender a little bit deeper, a little bit further out of the mind, a little bit more into the realms of receiving, and simply allowing. And the more you do that, the deeper this connection can be made, and this process can then be greatly enhanced within your field. And again, they state, your God presence is leading this journey for you. You are right here, right now. If there is any reservations you have, simply trust your God presence has brought you here for this activation that will bring you to the next layer in your journey, to the next empowerment within your journey and any fears you may have over to the teens around you now. Any worries, any reservations. He says it is very natural as it is when we reopen up our thymus chakra. This is the next level of that. So simply surrender up any worries and allow this crystal here in this great hall in our Taurus to very gently start to weave the first layer of this infinity connection. And you may literally feel that it is like that infinity moving in and out of your thymus in your heart, front and back, left and right, multidimensionally connecting and starting to connect these two chakras. The Arcturians say that it is in this first part of the process where often wounds that the heart and the thymus have of working together at this level of density and dimensionality are revealed. And so each one of you are now invited to lay down very gently on a crystal bed here in the Great Hall. Just make your way now to the crystal bed that is there especially for you. Now lay down on it and there'll be a special emissary that you are very connected with already. You already know this emissary and it may be an angel, an archangel, an ascended master or it may be an Arcturian emissary. Someone who's with us on this journey today and who you've contracted and who's contracted with you to assist you in this particular process of the activation of this infinity connection. Surrender now and allow these wounds that you feel coming up in your thymus and in your heart to bubble up. And this may bring up some real and intense emotion for you. If that is the case, simply let it bubble to the surface and it will be cleared for you and transformed back into universal love and light energies. If you feel an excitement in your field, that is very normal because it's a remembering of already 
having achieved this state in so many different ways, in so many different lives, in so many different realms, in so many different dimensions. And you're now going to be reactivating it for the purpose of using it in your 12 dimensional energy bodies in your mission on Earth. And remember to keep breathing up and down your pillar as this process takes place and surrender up all these wounds now. They will be surfacing, the Arcturians are saying. They will be surfacing. And whether you know exactly what they are, they may remind you of certain people. They may remind you of situations in your life, in your now or in your past, or things coming in the future that you have a vague idea about but don't really know yet what it's all about. Just start surrendering these energies now. Clearing your heart, Clearing your thumbs. And these will mainly be the first layer of this, the Arcturians are stating, will be from the front of the heart and thymus chakra, the transmissional side. Feel how these layers are being removed. They may feel like a very dense object that simply needs to be removed from your field, or they may feel like a layer of sticky substance that may feel like a hardened, unpenetrable layer, or they may feel like old, dead wood. And these are all analogies of different layers that you may be starting to feel within your field. If there's any heaviness within your heart and thymus, as he, he says, they're saying, that is very normal. You simply surrender to that now. And you don't even need to know exactly what it is that's releasing. Just know that it's connected into your creation energies and to your group consciousness energies. And that can also be family, friends, soul family, colleagues, others around you in different ways in your life, or those you have yet to meet. Beautiful. And now gently, the receptive side of the heart and thymus chakras are going to be cleared as well. And this is about receiving energies from others and necessary information on your path that hasn't sat well with you or that's caused disturbances in your field for whatever reason. Just offer these up now as well, from your heart and from your thumbs. And even if none of this makes sense to your mind, simply trust your higher self and your God presence on this journey that all is unfolding perfectly for you. While this is unfolding, the Arcturians say, start to focus on the infinity symbol, the laying down eight in gold and in silver that you can start to see being woven through your field at your heart and thymu chakras. And etheric we also see how this infinity connection starts weaving through your 12 primary chakras. However, it is very different in the way it presents itself beyond the heart and thymus. The heart and thymus is where the action is really happening and where this infinity connection is being made. Yet the movements of the gold and the silver as in their waves like an S moving up and down through the front and back of your chakras, the receptive side and the transmissional side and then the receptive side and then the transmissional side all the way up and down your pillar. That is happening as well, but the focus and the real infinity connection is being made, they state, between the heart and the thumbs. You gently start to feel how 
<clears throat> both your heart and your thumbs start to feel clearer. And how it feels like they already raised in frequency. And now focus again on the green crystal at the core of this large open space. And now allow these energies in much more deeply again. And feel now how this infinity connection is starting to be filled. Filled with golden and silver and platinum liquid light. And get a sense, the Arcturians are saying. Get a sense of the magic that lies in this connection. And how to do that is by focusing on the collective energies of your heart and thymus. Imagine how powerful this energy is in its creations. And the way to test that for yourself, they're saying is to hold the simplest of an idea and can be anything that pops up straight away in your system and then place that right at the center of this infinity connection. And that is like placing a seed in ground that is so fertile that the seed almost immediately transforms into the first stage of the plant or creation energy that it's meant to be. Try this now, the Arcturians are saying, and even if it makes no sense to the mind, it will make sense to your energy field. Beautiful, and see how you can sense that a vision is being born. You don't even know what it is exactly, but it's all sprouting from this simple idea that you've placed within this infinity connection. And feel how colors and energies are starting to rotate and grow and vibrate, and they become bigger than your energy bodies. Follow that flow as it unravels. Beautiful. And they say to bring it right back now to your focus of laying on the crystal bed as all these energies settle in. When you're ready, gently get up from the crystal bed and return back to the seat around the crystal here in Arcturus. Just have a little sense of your energy field and see how different you already feel. Even if you can't really put your finger on what the difference is, you know you're different already. And this is the first phase the Arcturians are sharing. The first phase of building this infinity connection that you've moved through. And part of you may feel a little bit as though it's spinning from the rapid growth of that simple idea that you placed within the core of this connection, how that started to transform so rapidly into this other creation energy, and it may have taken you to places that were surprising for you. Or maybe you've seen simply seen colors, or you felt the frequency rays, or something happened to you there as this energy grew. 
and they're very happy that you have felt this for that is the first remembering and recollection of how this infinity connection works in your field it is your birthright to reactivate this at this time and it will serve you well on your mission for you bring in the pure intentional desires that you are guided to on your path you bring it within this connection and they will sprout and be very fruitful for you in ways that you cannot yet anticipate for they only lie within experience when you're ready gently stand up now and just sort of feel yourself acclimatizing again breathe up and down your pillar a few times and we're following the arcturian emissaries now to a next place where we're going to go into the next phase of the activation of this connection if you feel a little bit woozy or lightheaded or extremely excited or a bit tired all of those are very normal because this activation you've had will already be felt in your physical body as well even though things are happening on our tours for you it's all real time and as you heard before time doesn't exist merely as we play the game here on earth does it seem to exist following the arcturians now to the next step of our journey we're walking through this hallway and it's almost like a bridge and on all sides you can see what looks to be lush rainforest and it seems the setting is at night but there is a lot of light around in any case get a sense of the different sounds you hear get a sense of the different smells that are here whether you feel it's warm or cold different colors that are presenting themselves to you whether you see them feel them or simply imagine them to be there following the arcturians now on this what looks to be like a wooden and stone pathway and as we move forward the this rainforest jungle like scene gets thicker and thicker there is a pathway that's been cleared though so we can walk through however everything feels like we're going deeper and deeper into creation itself and we are the arcturians are stating this next phase is all about going into the next layer and the next level of creation itself and this will be part of the activation of this next layer within your heart thymus connection gently now see how there's this opening in the middle of this very dense rainforest jungle like feeling it's not the same as on earth but it has a resemblance to it the air seems dry the temperature is different and the species of plants seem very different as well and at the core of this opening is a door into a cave a cave here in Arcturus and the Arcturians open this for us now and we enter in at first it seems dark but then we see that there is a lot of bright light within this cave as well even though it feels very comfortable very relaxing here there's a very high frequency here on the outer ring of the cave it's like a round cave there's a group a large group of arcturian emissaries here to assist us in this next part of the process our ascension council sit around us for the next ring and we sit amongst them so the outer ring is the arcturian emissaries and then the ascension councils and then we are all invited to sit with the arcturian emissaries that are guiding us and with our support teams as well at the center of 
This cave is what looks to be like a golden, orange, liquid light energy. And it's almost like a, a large pool of water, but it's warm and it's very inviting. And you can see right through it, yet you can't. It's almost like a bit of a, an optical illusion where at times you feel it is as clear as anything and then it is has all these different colors moving through it, particularly in the gold and orange range. And this pool now gently starts to expand to envelop us as well. First of all, we sit in it to basically where normally in the, on your body, your knees would be, in your energy bodies. Obviously you're here as a soul on this journey. So see yourself in this physical vessel that you're traveling in as this pool of liquid light starts to get deeper and deeper. And it's almost like you're sitting in uh, what could be described as a jacuzzi, a hot tub. And feel now that up to basically your throat chakra, you are sitting in this beautiful, delicious creation liquid light and gently close your eyes here in this realm as well and feel how all the cells of your multidimensional energy bodies are being revitalized by this pure creation liquid. Now the Arcturians being the master energetic builders that they are have built the first layer of the infinity connection in such a way that this golden liquid light will be able to be built on top of that infinity connection. So feel now how your entire energy bodies feel this surge, this wonder of creation flowing through them, whether it's in a peaceful way or in a rush of energy, and feel now how this infinity connection, this energy of the infinity sign moving through you and filled multidimensionally with this beautiful, beautiful, powerful creation liquid. And feel now how it starts to merge your heart and your thymus to the next level. Simply surrender another few layers, the Arcturians are saying, as you've done before. Don't think, but be. And trust and allow. So let go and enjoy this energy. The Arcturians are saying you may get some insights or visions of certain areas of your life. You may just get different colors moving through you. You may feel different emotions. And they will be enjoyable sights and emotions, enjoyable energies moving through you. This is a place of pure creation. Enjoy these energies now, the Arcturians are saying. And literally surrender into them now. As the second layer of this connection is being strengthened and filled and built. Just be in these energies now. And take your time to really soak them up in all the cells of your multidimensional energy bodies. And now the entire cave is filled with this creation liquid light and you're invited to open your eyes and either walk around or if you care to swim around they say feel free 
You may even notice yourself change shape or change vessel. In fact, you may even feel like you're in an endless creation space. Go on this journey now that you are guided to. Take this journey to places that you are guided to go within this realm, within this portal that is activated within this cave on our tours. Don't think about it too much. Your mind will get in the way. Simply go and journey, swim, walk, be, be taken to. And you may now start to notice that all different colors are being introduced as well. You may notice different temperatures and different sights, and you may find yourself on different spots on Arcturus. You may find yourself traveling with certain emissaries that seem to be very connected to you, or you may find other soul family here. Very big surprises may be found here in this creation space. Let yourself move about. Let yourself be. And if you just want to float and be in this space, then that is perfect for you, as this next layer is being activated within this infinity connection. Let that happen naturally, not through the mind, but through the heart and the thymus. The heart and the higher heart. If there is any energy coming up that you feel you need to surrender, just ask your Arcturian emissary to take it for you, and the teams will bring this back to universal love and light energies. Feel the freedom in this pure creation space. The reason it feels so free and so delicious, the Arcturians are explaining, is because you are a creator. Whether you're a conscious creator or not, you are born to be a creator. And again, this connection you have chosen to build up here will assist greatly in that regard. And you are strengthening it by surrendering as deeply as you can into this creation liquid light, into this creative realm with all the other beings here. Let go of any fears, any inhibitions, anything you feel holding you back. If you want to race through this water like a dolphin, then go for it. If you want to just float in this energy and take it all into the deepest cells of all your energy bodies, then do that. If you want to sit and contemplate on certain ideas, then do that. If you want to just visit different areas, different sites with different emissaries, then do that. Enjoy these next few moments of being in this pure creation energy. And the circle of emissaries, Arcturian emissaries, start beating very low drums. Feel and hear these drum sounds in the distance. They are not within your creation bubble your creation world, they are still in the cave. And see if you can pick up a rhythm. Everyone's rhythm will be different, and it is played exactly for you. Feel the rhythm of these deep drumming sounds. And see if you can Create your movement to align with this frequency resonance for you, with these harmonics that are being pumped through this creation space for you, activating, strengthening, connecting this deeper and next layer of this infinity connection. 
here feel know now that the ascension councils bring in higher tones higher tones of any instrument that may be suited to you and feel how these drums and these higher tones of different instruments specially selected for you merge into <clears throat> the next layer of rhythm and music and sound feel how it starts to become this symphony of creation just for you as all of this is unfolding keep breathing up and down your pillar you may even feel inner sound coming out of you and let that flow inside of you you may feel rhythms you may hear chants you may hear sounds you may feel ideas bubbling up you may just feel excitement or you may feel extremely relaxed let the rhyme the rhythm the music move you is it fast is it slow where is it taking you what are the color schemes what are you noticing and now feel how the rhythm takes you to a place especially for you to collect a gift especially for you a gift that you have left there for yourself for this moment in creation feel yourself move towards this place whether it opens up for you or you are guided towards it whether it is with an emissary or with a group of emissaries or a group of soul family feel yourself move towards this place where this gift lies awaiting for you this may be literally an object or maybe words of wisdom or an energetic transmission that is is going to assist you and you may feel like you're in your own mini inner cave or a different structure let that be now as you make your way there and receive this gift these words of wisdom with the synergetic transmission and again if your mind is getting in the way peel it away let go surrender to the rhythm that you still hear in the background the deep drums whether they're fast or slow and the harmonics created by the higher tones of instruments as well for some reason it just sounds and feels exquisite to your feel this is the perfect creation song for you right here right now you can't even know and understand why but you're feeling it just feels perfect for you the sounds and the rhythms and you cannot get enough of this sound this music this rhythm the tonalities everything is working for you collect your gift connect to it whether it's words of wisdom an object an energetic transmission and place it at the creation core of this infinity connection of the heart and thought now leave that special place come back into the pool of creation energy at the core of this cave and gently take your seat again as the liquid light energy comes more centrally again and you feel yourself sitting in it again up to your neck and gently open your eyes in this realm and have a little look around or a sense or a knowing and look at all the others there are many many here 
not just from your soul group or those traveling with you in your here and now. There are many others in different realms also moving through this initiation and this activation process. And take a few moments now to simply be in that energy as you gently hear and feel the sounds of the rhythms float further and further away as though you never heard them in the first place, almost. But you'll remember this rhythm and the sounds within this creation place at the core of your heart and diamonds. Connect to your gift, energetic transmission or words of wisdom, whether you know exactly what they mean or not. And know that this is perfectly connected to the activation of this second level, this second stage of your heart times connection. Beautiful. And when you're ready, very, very gently, step out of this liquid light pool now. And we're going to thank all the beautiful emissaries here. And we're going to leave this cave again, back through the jungle scene we came in through. We're feeling very different now. Bigger, more complete, higher in frequency. And feel how it's a little bit more chilly out here than it was in the cave and in the liquid light. But still very nice and refreshing after the warm liquid light water. As we follow the Arcturian emissaries to the next stop. For this we're actually going to be traveling to the other side of Arcturus. And so again see yourself traveling for a few seconds to the other side of Arcturus around the outside of our tours and we are here now and just ground your pillar here again again through the core of our tours but from this place now source through the core of our tours to the core of earth always be in your energetic pillar <clears throat> this defines who you are this is your energetic signature this defines you in the universe, your energy, your frequency, your signature. Always have your pillar activated and it will assist you greatly. Following the Arcturian emissaries now, down a large hallway with very large arches above us very smooth stone, yet there's warmth here as well, with all the different colored crystals on the sides as we walk through the middle of this path. You may be guided to pick up a crystal on your journey, the Arcturians are saying. That crystal will be calling out and each one of you will pick up a crystal on this journey through this hallway to the next space. So when you're guided to pick up a crystal, it'll be perfect for you. Perfect color, perfect shape, exactly what you need right now. Just pick it up and you may actually recognize it. It may be a crystal you actually already own but it's etherically here with you now. Or it may be somewhat familiar to you or it may be totally new but exactly what you've been calling out for without even knowing it. So pick up this crystal, it might be very large, it might be very, very small. And take it along with you now, to the next part of our journey. Following the Arcturians now. We're going down a very, very thin, small, pretty steep stairway now. And it's like normal stone, you may imagine. And it's like going down into what you may imagine a wine cellar, except the stones are just 
polished in a different way. It's a stone that you might not even imagine here on earth, but it all looks very familiar as well. So going down this stairway follows now down in a sharp bend to the left, following the Arcturians down in double file, all the way down this very, very, very long stairway. Just see yourself gliding or walking down this stairway now. And now this all opens up into this underground river that is flowing ferociously fast. In fact, you might even feel the tiniest hint of oh, awe or fear as you see how fast this river is flowing. For each and every one of you, it'll be a little bit of a different sight. You may see different colors. You may see the normal blue that you might imagine of water or green, or you may see it in different colors of gold or silver or platinum, different colors of liquid light, or it may look exactly like water to you, crystal clear water. The water may seem warm to you or very cold, icy cold almost. You may see different rocks within the water, or it may be just a very pure stream of crystal clear water. One thing it has in common for everyone is the speed and ferociousness at which it's tumbling through this underground tunnel. Just take this scene in now and catch your breath here as there's also the mist of the liquid light water, almost finding it hard to breathe a little bit with this mist and the intensity of the scene, yet it feels invigorating and exciting on the other hand. Arcturians are stating now they're going to give a little briefing of the next part of our journey. This is the final phase of our journey. And this is like compared to what you may know as a ride on Earth. And so different vehicles are lined up for us to take. Some take two per vehicle, others by themselves, others with three or four. And you will be assigned to your specific vehicle, and it's like a boat, but a little bit different. It's a flotating device in any case. And so you're assigned to the one that's exactly right for you with the right emissary or with the right soul right next to you. And so we're all going to go down what looks like a little bit of a slide right into this massive river of, again, creation energy, but a different sort. This is a very vibrant, turbulent, more masculine focused energy, whereas the second phase was more feminine creation energy. And this is more linked to the masculine light. And if you have any fear, that is okay. You simply let it go as you feel yourself moving down and sliding into this massive, massive river. And the Arcturians are inviting you to close your eyes as you do this and simply trust the process. Trust the flow and know that everything is perfect for you right here, right now. Now feel how your boat, your flotation device, your vehicle enters into this massive river which seems bigger than you can even imagine, deeper than you can even imagine and feel how it's launched into this river. And let yourself be taken by this creation river. You may feel like it drops straight away into a waterfall, or you may feel like it goes uphill a little bit, but the pure force of it is so powerful, it takes you on a journey. And let yourself be taken on this journey now. You may see different colors. You may feel very cold or very warm. Watch and feel and sense and know the scenery on the way. It may be ever-changing. Different landscapes. You will move through different landscapes. And all the while holding on to the crystal you collected in the hallway. Yes, you are still holding on to it. And tune into this crystal now while you're on this wild ride that's almost too fast to fathom. And find your still point on this wild ride. 
and connect the heart of this crystal you collected to the heart of the green crystal from phase one. When we entered our tours, you may remember the green crystal near the crystal beds. Connect the hearts of these two crystals now and find your still spot on this wild journey of masculine energy, masculine creation force, masculine flow in this wild river of creation energy. Breathe up and down your pillar. Find yourself in this still spot, even though you know there's a crazy ride going on, and you're on it. Beautiful, and as this energy from this liquid light water, whatever color it is for you, it starts to weave the next layer, the next phase of the infinity connection, much more focused in a horizontal direction, left to right, than it is from up and down. So it's not so much up and down, but it's sort of like it weaves the left-right connections over the top and it weaves everything together in this final phase of this activation and creation of this infinity connection. Masculine energy entering in with the feminine energy entering in with the phase one base structure for this part of your multi-dimensional energy bodies. And breathe up and down your pillow with this intensity as you hold your still point. And your still point may be in your heart and thumb chakras. It may be at that point of creation. Or it may be elsewhere in your energy bodies. Hold your still point. As the connection between your crystal and the green crystal are downloading from each other. The green crystal is downloading into your crystal and your crystal is sending information to the green crystal which then again enhances the base level process within your energetic field for it was the green crystal which was very strongly connected to this initial activation of the infinity connection. Now very gently start to open your eyes let go of your still point and enter back into the wildness of this ride. And it may be still tumbling over and through waterfalls, through rocks, or it just might be the sheer speed of it is almost like it's at light speed. And watch the scenery as you go by. You may feel like you're going upside down underwater. There may be all these different creatures and different energies flowing with you through this creation space. And in the next little while, you will be picking up a gift on this wild ride. You won't be stopping, but it'll be there for you to grab. And it'll be an object, or it'll be words of wisdom, or an energetic transmission. You will know what it is, because it just will be so clear to you. It might be hanging somewhere, or you might have to dive into the river, and back to your boat to get it, back to your flotation device. It's going to be very clear to you what you need to do to get it. But it will be on the go. It won't be stillness. It will be on the go where you get it. And that will be coming up very, very soon now. Be ready for it. Wait. We're all getting it now. Beautiful. Now very, very gently. You'll start to notice the river becomes just a little bit less wild, just a little bit slower. It also seems like it's getting a bit less in its sheer volume and sheer forward motion. you actually look around, it is still extremely fast, but it all feels almost like you're flying. Like you're hovering above the water now. Take it all in and find that place of peace within the infinity connection. You'll find it. It's different than the stillness point. It's 
the place of peace and harmony and trust within your creation, a much deeper trust in your creation than you've ever felt before. Why? Because you've now activated a higher frequency of creation at a higher density level. And feel how this masculine light has been weaving and weaving together with the feminine flow of creativity from phase two onto this base of the infinity symbol through your heart and dhamma chakras. Now, while the water is slowing down even more, start to connect to the gift you received and that you picked up, that you grabbed on the go. And look, is it an object? Is it energetic transmission, words of wisdom? What is it? Tune into this gift now. Connect to it and get a sense of what it means for you. And get a sense of how it connects to the gift you received earlier when you were doing the feminine part of the journey. They belong together and they form a divine union set of your creative energies. If you can't immediately see how they form a connection, let that come to you now. Connect them together and you will see they merge into one, whether it's an activation in, in information or whether it's two objects, you'll see they start to merge together as one within this connection of your heart and thymus energies. And very gently now, this river is slowing down and taking us back to, believe it or not, the great hall where we started. Step out of your boat, your vehicle now, and just really gently ground yourself after that wild ride. Shake yourself dry if you feel to. Catch your breath. And as you walk to your crystal table again, feel how you're different. Feel how you feel invigorated or more powerful or something. You feel different because you are. Arcturians are inviting you to step back on the same crystal bed where you had phase one activated. And they're now going to Create all of these three phases to be sealed in for you. Simply receive to the deepest level possible for yourself now as the Arcturians masterfully seal this creation up for you now. So it is permanently a part of your multidimensional energy bodies, as it always was, but now is fully activated through your creation of these three layers. This infinity connection is now yours again to work with. Receive now how this is all sealed up for you and brought together. It's almost like the gift wrapping on your present. You feel how it is comforting empowering, peaceful, harmonious, blissful, strengthening, joyous, relaxing all of these energies all at once. So all of this is tied together now and connected into your field in a way that will feel very natural for you as though it was never any different in the first place. Because truly it wasn't. This was just the time and the place for you to reactivate this for your mission here on Earth. Just gently completing the sealing up process now. You may literally feel it like it's being 
wrapped around in the heart and thymus area. You may literally feel it's being activated and sealed and completed by the Arcturians now. Their Ascension Council is with you as well. They're assisting in sealing up with their energy. Your God Presence is there as well, assisting in the sealing up of this energy. Mother Guy holds this pillar for you in the sealing up of this energy. When you feel you're done, gently sit up on the crystal bed. Stand up when you're ready in that realm. And walk around a bit. Maybe go say hi to your green crystal friend. And you'll notice that the crystal that you picked up has now magically become one with the whole structure of your heart and thymus connection. It is part of your infinity connection as are the two gifts that you picked up in the masculine and in the feminine flows. Everything is one. It's almost like it's all dissolved into one energy. It's almost like you can't recognize the different elements anymore because they were all part of building the whole. And in the activating of this infinity connection, all of these elements have merged into one. Gently walk around a bit, connect to the green crystal, and be ready now to be off back to the God Presence Communion Temple. <clears throat> As we thank the Arcturian emissaries for their assistance today on this beautiful journey they took us on. We are now going back to the place where we started on our tours, and they're going to guide us back now to the God Presence Communion Temple. So just notice as your journey takes 20 to 30 seconds back to the God Presence Communion Temple. You might feel yourself floating, or you might feel yourself shifting consciousness back to the God Presence Communion Temple. Beautiful, and as we arrive, just find your spot around the circle, and the Arcturians say goodbye, and they're very grateful that they could assist us today, and they're off back to Arcturus. And with the Ascended Masters, Michael, Archangel Michael is here as well, we're going to seal up this journey. We ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light, and empowerment, and we thank the Arcturians, the angels, archangels, ascended masters, and the karmic board, the temples, all the other emissaries that assisted us today, Ashtar Kuman, Galactic Federation, Mother Gaia, and our God Presences. And before we seal up, after the sealing up, come fully back into your here and now, and take a couple of deep breaths up and down your pillar as we ask for all this energy work to be sealed, and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light, and empowerment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it. It is done. Now come fully back into your here and now. Breathe up and down your pillar a few times. And when you're ready, very gently come back, open your eyes in your here and now.